Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Thought that we would go ahead and go over what I have in the brat buggy. Make sure we got y'all everything in the viewfinder here. Pull out a little bit. And let's see. Yeah. Alright. So, starting here, this is a bag of uh, rope and cinch down straps. Not ratchet strap. Back in here, there's a bottle, half bottle of water. Need to fill that back up. In this chest, or in this uh, ammo box, is a ratchet straps. There's another empty one in front of that. Over here are two shells that I use to make turn this thing into a table, or I can turn that into a table. This is a uh, folding director's chair. This is a bag I recently showed. It came with a picnic kit, but it is carrying most of my actual uh, cooking supplies, uh, both alcohol, alcohol stove, uh, cook mess kits. I think there's still some plates, some silverware, whatever. This bag I just did a video on. Um, I believe it's uploaded already. This bag, this is full of mainly blankets and tarps. And I have way too many. Part of that problem is, you know, Harbor Freight has these sales. Uh, you buy something and you get a, a free 5x7 tarp. Well, I like going in and buying you know, stuff that costs a dollar fifty and get a tarp on top of it. So get 20% off and get a tarp so there's way too many tarps in there there's also probably too many blankets um, so I'm going to go through those uh, I discussed that in when I was doing this video because I believe I can fit the clothes that are in here down in here and consolidate most of what's in there if not into this bag then into another small bag now, all this, I used to have a three drawer plastic dresser over here, and then stuff was strapped to the top of it. And most of this stuff fit in that dresser, but then it, it overflowed way too much. So that's why I started doing this. Is probably the fourth reiteration of that of, of this. And this is a uh, plastic box up here to his by. I can't read it. I got it off of Amazon. It's fairly cheap. Um, inside of here is more, more little bins of uh, food, some cooking supplies, um, some odds and ends that you know go with the truck. Um, I'm tempted to get another one of these because I actually like the way it, it works. But I'm not sure. Uh, up here we have this is my uh, art supplies. There's a video on that. This is my first aid kit, something I hope I never have to use. This is a little more than a boo boo kit. Um, it would do okay for a trauma kit, but this is more of a uh, stabilized until. have these motorcycle cargo straps strapped across the window. I may not have to move that, that bag because it looks like it's pulling down on that too much. Let's go ahead and do that. Figure out another spot for that. 
back in here there is a uh, there's a hammock there's handy wipes there's water there's a fishing pole there's another umbrella um, I forget there's another stuff back in there there's a USB homemade USB fan Um, let's see. Behind this, there is another large umbrella. Uh, there is my IKEA grill. There's some more cordage, mainly cut off wires from um, vacuum cleaners and whatnot that I rescue off the curb because that stuff is, heck, it's 15 or 20 feet of good cordage just the way it is and you strip it down and it's got usually has three strands of wire in it so you know it could be it could be uh, 60 feet worth of worth of cordage if you need it so let's see over here there's a shovel there's a uh, tire pump ahead of that there's the inverter I need to hook up so this is just like I said this is this setup this is just an overview I will do a review of what's in this bag when I go ahead and I'm probably going to redo that bag I'm fairly certain and I'll do a more in-depth review of this of this box um, it's pretty much set up the way it, the way it's going to be so I'll do a do a review on what's in that box coming up here soon but oh there's a few things like this magnet this is another one of those things you get free at Harbor Freight and it works great to do like put a tarp up on the on the side of the truck so I've actually got two or three Two of those out here, I think. Where I've got two, I've got two of them to, to go out here. So I cleaned out a whole bunch of stuff, and not all of it's got made its way back in here yet. I'm not sure if it will. Anyway, um, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. social media that would be fandoculus wow. if you'd like to check me out on Facebook Instagram or imager I'll have the links in the description box here eventually uh, along with links to similar videos and uh, you'll find my snail mail address and my email address um, yeah, I guess that's about it. When, uh, yeah, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I just realized they, the kids brought my, my, uh, basketball court back. Um, yeah, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast cancer affects, uh, men and children as well as women. So just you know, make sure if something doesn't feel right, just get it checked out. You know, cancers are insidious, and they they'll rock your world, they'll rock the world of your family, anyone who loves you. So, just be proactive. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you're thinking about them. If you're estranged, forgive, forget, apologize. We're not promised tomorrow, people. We're not promised our next breath. You never know when you won't get another chance. Or maybe they won't get another chance. Maybe it's you knocking on them pearly gates. I hope not. I hope to see you all again until I do. 
Hope you have a fan day. Bless you, y'all.